This video is about Amazing Stories, a science fiction publication with a focus on its pulp magazine origin and history. To show you what Amazing Stories pulp magazine issues were all about, a chronological series of painted covers from 1926 to 1951 are presented. You may find it of interest to note how many so-called modern concepts were portrayed so long ago. Pulp magazines were the successors to the Penny Dreadfuls, Dime Novels, and Short Story Magazines of the 1800s. They were published from 1896 to the late 1950s, and the term pulp comes from the cheap wood pulp paper that they were printed on. Comic books could be considered as successors to pulp magazines, as well as paperback books, digest magazines, and men's adventure magazines. By the late 1800s, Stories about science fiction invention and stories about the future were appearing regularly in popular fiction magazines. This was in part in the tradition of earlier Jules Verne stories. Amazing Stories was launched in April 1926 by Hugo Gernsback's Experimenter Publishing and in various forms has continued on through 2023. Earlier, in 1908, Gernsback started publishing Modern Electrics, a magazine aimed at the scientific hobbyist, which was an immediate success, and started publishing some somewhat related fiction stories. Amazing Stories was the first magazine devoted exclusively to science fiction, although science fiction had been making regular appearances in other magazines. Gernsback's initial editorial approach was to blend instruction with entertainment. He believed science fiction could educate readers. Initially, the magazine focused on reprints, including both classics such as H.G. Wells and Jules Verne, plus other Gernsback magazines. The first original story was The Man from the Atom sequel by G. Peyton Wurtenbaker in the second issue in May 1926. The first issue and others featured art by Frank R. Paul and over time multiple artists did covers. The letter columns and Amazing enabled fans to make contact with each other and led to the formation of science fiction fandom which also had a strong influence on the development of science fiction. However, his audience rapidly showed a preference for implausible adventures, and the movement away from Gernsback's approach accelerated when he was forced into bankruptcy and lost control of the magazine in 1929. After that, the ownership changed and circulation also dropped. In 1938, it was purchased by Ziff Davis, who hired Raymond A. Palmer an active science fiction fan as editor, and he made the magazine successful. Under Palmer, stories that could be considered as fantasy were introduced, dramatically increasing circulation. Writers whose first story was published in the magazine include John W. Campbell, Isaac Asimov, Howard First, Ursul K. Lagoon, Roger Zelaney, and Thomas M. Dish. A notable writer who was already published elsewhere was Edgar Rice Burroughs, the creator of Tarzan, who had cover stories of his character, John Carter of Mars. Did you see any covers that you think would make for a good TV show or movie? For information about the video, see the video description section. Please like and subscribe.